Hello, fifth grade. So we are going to be working on lesson four, module 10, lesson four, which is represent and find the number of equal sized parts. So last time we were taking a fraction and dividing it by a whole number. This time we're taking a whole number and dividing it by a fraction, dividing it by a unit fraction. So you're basically following the same strategy you followed before. It's just the fraction is what's going to get reversed or inversed, not the whole number. So you'll be able to divide a whole number by a unit fraction using a visual model, fraction model. So a nature preserve is five miles wide. A ranger divides the entire preserve into one third mile wide sections for different tours. How many sections does a nature preserve have for different tours? So the preserve is five miles wide. So I'm going to represent that with a bar model. So one, two, three, four, five. Five miles wide, right? This is each mile. We're representing each mile. And each mile is divided into one third mile wide sections. So each individual mile is divided into a third. Okay, so we've got one third, one third, one third, one third, one third, one third, and so on, and so on, and so on. So if you look at this model, how many different tours, or how many different sections do, does the Nature Preserve have for different tours? So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 different sections or tours. And if we wanted to solve this with division, what we would say is there are 5 miles divided into 1 third mile wide sections, and that's going to equal 15. And the reason that works is because remember we would to multi we would have to take our dividing of a fraction and do the inverse it to multiply. So I'm going to take my five and multiply it by the in what is the inverse of one third? That would be three over one, which is the same thing as three. So five times three equals fifteen. So when you are dividing by a fraction. Essentially, you're dividing, you're multiplying by the inverse of your fraction. So let's practice this out. So the Nature Preserve has a three mile long trail for bird watchers. The ranger divides the trail into one half mile sections and names each section after a different bird. How many of these sections does the trail have? So the trail is three miles long and is divided into one half mile sections. So this can be modeled by three divided by one half. We're dividing the three miles, each of them in half. So if we want to represent the situation with a number line, we know we have a total of three miles, right? So here's mile one, here's mile two. And each mile is going to be broken in half. So I would have one half, one, one and one half, two, two and one half. So I'm not gonna worry about these, okay? So the division equation that we could write is 3 divided by 1 half equals, we're going to do the inverse, so I'm going to do 3 times, I'm going to revert, do the inverse of this, 3 times 2 over 1, which is 2, which equals 6. So 3 divided by 1 half is 6, look at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
so six different sections. So they will be there will be six sections. So they will need six different bird names because each section is named after a different bird. So it's exactly the same as what we were doing before. It's just instead of the whole number getting the inverse, it's the fraction because that's the one we're dividing by. John's lawnmower uses one fourth gallon of gas each time he mows. Each time he mows the lawn. John has three gallons of gas in a container. How many times can he mow the lawn before he needs to refill the container? So we have one fourth gallon of gas that he has to fill each time. And he has three gallons of gas in a container. So this is going to be <clears throat> three, right? divided by one fourth. So we've got our three gallons. Oh my goodness. We have to have three separate holes. I'm sorry. One, two, we have our three gallons and each of them is divided into fourths. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So he can mow the lawn 12 times before he's going to have to refill his container. Okay? So basically that's what we just did here. So 12 times. He can mow the lawn. Tim serves one fifth pound of cat food each day from a two pound bag. How many days will this bag last? So we have two pound bag divided by one fifth. So we have two pounds divided by one fifth. So each day one he can or he can have how many days? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Which is the same as saying two times five over one, which is five, ten. So ten days before he has to get a new bag of cat food. Okay. Write a division equation that represents this visual model. So our division equation would be, well, how many holes do we have? We have two. And it's divided by one-fourth. And our answer is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or you could say, right, that's our division problem. And then to solve it, two times four over one equals eight. So that's how we know it works. Draw a visual model to represent 2 divided by 1 6, then find the quotient. So, 2 divided by 1 6 Oh goodness, I did fourths instead of thirds. Oh my goodness, you're going to think I'm Looney Tunes here. All right, try this again. There, that looks better. So each of those are one six. So we have, oh no, sorry, I need to do six. I did twelfths, or I need to do twelfths. Oh my gosh, I am sorry. It's been a very long day. You're my, this is my seventh video today. Yeah, getting a little, a little burnt out. So it would be 12. There are 12 of them. Right, because 2 divided by 1, 6 would be the same as 2 times 6, so that would be 12. Alrighty. Tyra has four liters of distilled water for a chemistry experiment. This is one fifth of the amount she needs. How much distilled water does she need? Four divided by one fifth equals 20 liters. 
3 divided by 1 half. So if we have, let's see if I can do this one right. 3 divided by 1 half. So each of them is divided in half. So you would have 6, and we do. 2 divided by 1 third. So we have 2, and each of them is divided in thirds, so we have 6. They're the same because you have the, the, the numerator, or denominator for this one is the whole number for that one, and vice versa. So that's why they're able to be the same. So it's like the inverse. Okay, so you're going to do the independent work for this um, lesson, module 10.4. I would like you to complete the whole thing and then turn it into me. Have a fabulous day, and I will see you soon. Bye.